Hello everyone, welcome to Weber State Media Day for the Weber State men's and women's basketball programs as part of the Big Sky Conference Media Day before the basketball seasons begin for the 2019-2020 season. I'm Paul Grua from Weber State Athletics. We're joined today by Valeda Harris, the head coach of the Wildcat women's basketball team, Dominique Williams, the senior on the women's team, head coach Randy Ray for the Wildcat men's team, and Jarek Harding, a senior on the Weber State men's basketball team. We are excited to, to talk to each of you and get to know you a little bit more and, and your preparations as we begin for the 2019-20 season. Coach Harris, we're gonna start with you. Right. Entering your second season now. Yes. Tell me what you've learned after the first season and how things are different than maybe a year ago for you. Um, what have I learned? Uh, patience, <laughs> no. Um, what I've learned is that, you know, it's a process. You know, I've spent a lot of time talking with my mentors, with Randy, just different coaches who are very experienced, and it just it takes time and patience. And I think we're building. I think we're um, getting the type of kids um, and people that we want in the program and, and ready to play the style of play that I'm looking forward to doing. Excellent. We're going to talk about, about that a little bit, too. Coach Ray, you're, you're the veteran around here. You've been mm. here. This is your 14th season. Is that what that means? Yeah, you're I'm old. old. Yeah. yeah. 14th season. Mm. Probably can't believe that. No, it's gone by fast. I'll tell you, it's, uh, it's been a whirlwind. I still remember the first day uh, walking in here, uh, first team meeting we had, uh, which was an experience. But, uh, you know, it's gone really, really fast, and, and it's been a great experience for me. My family loves it here, and uh, uh, when you've got uh, great kids to coach on a yearly basis, uh, it makes it fun and enjoyable. It probably makes it go a little bit faster, too. So yeah. it's been a good, great How first. have you changed? Uh, your coaching, your style, from maybe when the situation you were with Coach Harris when your first or second year, how have you changed to now that 14 years in? System? Yeah, well, your system, your, yeah, your no, philosophy, I don't think everything. I've changed a whole lot, to be honest with you. Um, you know, different players come. You treat, seems like different kids you get. You got to learn how to coach them. Guys, you got to coach differently than others, that type of thing. But, uh, but for overall, I, I think the way we coach and the system we run, uh, with the exception we changed our system a little bit last year, which we're going to get back to doing what we kind of did uh, more before this year. Um, but no, I don't think I've changed a whole lot. You know, kids are different a little bit, so you got to adjust to that. But uh, I think nowadays, I really believe it's you got to have the relationships you have with your players is extremely critical. And uh, uh, so that's probably changed a little bit, which is part of part of the job that I really enjoy getting to know these guys. You probably would say the same thing, the relationship with the players. Yeah, most right? important, most important piece. Yeah, they got to believe in you, got to trust you, and then they're going to run through a wall for you. All right, let's hear from these players. Dominique, we're going to start with you. Entering your senior year, you know, you've been here, you've played three seasons with, with the Wildcats, and what are you most excited about as you enter your senior season? I'm excited. I feel like we have something to prove. Um, exciting time, just ready to get out there and play. Yeah, very good. Jarek, we'll ask the same kind of question for you. What about you most excited about this year? I'm just excited about our group, honestly. Um, we have a great culture. I feel like the new guys we brought in, um, they're built with all the right stuff. Um, they're Weber State guys. And uh, my four years, it went by kind of fast. Uh, I feel like I was just walking in here yesterday. I was on a visit yesterday. So, yeah, it goes by fast. I'm trying to enjoy every moment of this, se uh, of this season. So, yeah. So I'll ask both of you players, how, how have you been here in the program for a, for a while? How have you grown and changed and, and, and how has your game developed uh, since you first came in? Um, I feel like the game has slowed down a lot. I mean, I feel like when I was a freshman, I didn't want to make any mistakes. So I feel like that kind of that kind of slowed me down. Um, now the uh, game's coming easier to me um, and I'm more of a leader now. I feel like that was the biggest thing coming in uh, that I've been trying to work on even now. Um, so yeah. yeah. Okay. Dominique, what about um, you? I'd just say IQ has gotten a lot better. Uh, just understanding the game, the principles, um, just like kind of like Jarek said, just becoming more of a leader. Um, I'd say that's basically, that's all, most of it. And, and you're both now looked to as leaders this year, right, as seniors uh, that have been in the program for a while. What, what role do you think that will, how will that affect you as leaders this year? Mm. How will it affect us? I mean, will you, does it, does it change anything that you'll do as, as, as the rest of the team looks to you as a leader? Um, I don't really think it changes because, I mean, me being a point guard, I feel like you always you, you have to be a leader. I mean, that's what point guards do. Um, I feel like last year I kind of looked to, more to the seniors and I was more quiet. I mean, this year I feel like they have to hear my voice, but I also have to um, lead by example. So. Okay, yeah. any, any thoughts that you have, Dominique? Um, on that? Well, I'm not a point guard, yeah. but just, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> uh, just having just a little bit more patience and having an understanding that they're learning and growing. Um, we have a lot of freshmen this year, so understanding that they're trying to understand the game as well. But it doesn't really change a lot, um, just continuing to be the leader that I am. 
Well, let's let's ask both your coaches about these players that we have right here first. Then we're going to get to the to the other players on your team. But Coach Harris, talk about Dominique and her uh, what she brings to to you as a, as a team and how she helps. Well, she's all right. No, um, I, her leadership is a big piece of this. Um, last year, we had two seniors who had been here for four years, starters, played quite a bit, um, and I stretched her. You know, I asked some things of her that maybe she wasn't ready for, but she has a voice, and I think the kids are attracted to her and her personality um, and the way she plays, you know, and so just her, her IQ and her mindset on the floor, she's very competitive, and so that feeds into everyone else, and that's what we need from a young team. Yeah, for sure. Coach Ray, uh, this, this guy to your right is a pretty good scorer and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. has had a pretty good career so far, and he's got another year to go. Uh, you know, you've had a lot of players come through your program that have been, have been stars. Um, you know, explain, describe Jarek's game and, and where he fits. Well, Jarek's evolved. He really has. When he first got here, Jarek could always score. You know, that was his strength. And what, what he's done, and he's made a great effort to, to evolve his game, and to, now we've got to make his teammates better. All right, uh, get his assists up, uh, and then be a guy that can really defend because he's got all the tools to be a good defender, and he's really, really worked hard on evolving as a player, and I think he's getting there. I really do. And then, like you said, the leadership. You know, Jarek's a little bit quiet by nature. He's a tough guy. He's a competitive guy, and he's going to fight you if he needs to, but he's always been that quiet, quiet guy doing it, and now I can see it right from uh, actually this spring and summer. We're hearing his voice, and... Uh, when you've got a player like Jarek, and especially the young kids, when they feel his confidence in them, uh, they get better faster. And he's been doing a great job of that. And I think his leadership is going to be right where we need it to be this year. And you're certainly, Jarek, a, a guy that's known for your scoring, obviously, right? Yeah, where you've had a, already the school record of most points in a game, and you're approaching the school all-time record, which is a remarkable feat. What's it like? What, take us through what's it like when you, you, know, you feel you can score or you, you have that scores mentality. Um, I mean, it's just what I've always done. I feel like um, I just have fun scoring. I mean, I don't, I don't know how else to explain it, but... It's just kind of fun to score. It's <laughs> kind of fun, right? I never knew that feeling. <laughs> That's the purpose, right, yeah, is yeah. to score. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, um, now I feel like scoring just opens up everything else for me. So, like, they have to, two maybe have to guard me, so somebody's open. So I feel like I can make my teammates better because of my scoring ability, so... Well, let's talk about both the, uh, of, of the teams a little bit. Coach, Coach Harris, uh, you have several new players coming in. As you mentioned, you lost a few seniors and several new players that you're balancing. I mean, what, what are you, so far as practice has been underway just for a little bit, how, how is that group gelling together? Um, I think we're coming along. Uh, we're, I was just saying to um, Randy that we're very competitive. I love that piece. You know, sometimes in practice I have to, hey, 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 it's practice. But I love that piece of it. Um, so with six, um, six freshmen, you know, and uh, only two seniors, you know, so we have a, a couple kids in between. But it's a lot of learning, you know. Um, I t you know, they got a lot to think about, a lot to work on. But what I want from the jump is for them to be competitive and them to be vocal and communicate and then want to be a really, really good team, want to win championships. And I think that's the group that I have. Okay. Excellent. Coach Ray, your team. Uh, comes in as well, lost a couple seniors, uh, but you have quite a bit, eight, nine returners coming back, but then you've, you're bringing in four or five freshmen as well, so you've got a balance of, the, of group there too. We do a little bit, yeah. We're starting to get a little bit older now, and, uh, but we do have a nice blend of, we got Jarek and Cody as seniors and Brendan Morris as seniors. Michael Kozak's a junior now. We got a sophomore class, that, uh, a big sophomore class that has made a good jump from their freshman year. And, uh, and then we got some freshmen that are going to help us as well. And so we got a nice balance going. And I think the young guys are, the younger freshmen are starting to make good progress because they're, they're, they're seeing how it's done with, with these guys. You know, I mean, Jarek and Cody. And, and, uh, and like Jarek said earlier, it feels like we've got the right guys. You know, we've got a hard working, hard playing, competitive group, which is kind of what we've always tried to have around here. And, and I really feel right now like we've got that kind of group. I'm excited to coach them. Good. You know, what's, uh, something that's unique about your team is you have five players from five different countries. Mm -hmm. that you've been able yeah. to get a lot of players from Europe and, and different areas. Uh, you know, maybe take us through that process, how that's happened and, and how you see these players fitting in. Well, we wanted to expand and go, to, uh, go the foreign route a little bit in, in international recruiting and, and especially big guys. You know, any, any big guy that's 6'8 or above in, uh, that's in the States, if he can catch and not fall down when he's running, he's going to get recruited to a high level. And so we've, we've decided we were going to make a concerted effort to get overseas and hired David Merrick, 
uh, who's from the Czech Republic, and he's done a great job with it. And uh, we've been able to get some really good players from over there and guys that fit our culture, fit our program. And uh, uh, it's something we're going to continue to do. But, uh, but I'm excited about it, every one of those kids. They're, they're made of the right stuff. International Wildcats, that's for sure. Uh, Coach, both of you, both of you face, uh, always face challenging preseason schedules, uh, let alone the, the challenging Big Sky schedule. Right. Uh, you've got three Pac-12 teams. We do. On your preseason schedule. We do. Welcome. There you um, go. Yeah. No, I think, you know, I want these young women to understand where we want to get to, right? And we have to play teams like this to see what it takes to win. Like we open up against the preseason number 10 team, UCLA, you know? And so I've been able to build relationships with these coaches having been in that conference. And I want our kids to see what it takes, the work that it takes to get there, you know? And so not every day I'm not reminding them who we play, I'm reminding them who we're trying to be and who we're trying to become. And so we've got to play competitive teams. There you go. You've got the same kind of situation, especially in-state with all the in-state games happen to be on the road this year. Uh, you, you do this every year, face a challenging preseason schedule that hopefully makes you better down the line, right? Yeah, that's what we've always done. You know, we're going to play the hardest schedule we can possibly play, and this one's no different and maybe as challenging a schedule as we've had since I've been here this year. But I love it. I embrace it. We, we're going to embrace it. These guys are going to embrace it. That's what they want to do. They want to play the, the biggest and best we can. And uh, if it's on the road, it's on the road. Let's go. And so uh, uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna run, run through it and, and get better because of it. And I think it's going to help us for league. I really do. So let's ask both of you, uh, you players here. You have obviously still have your senior years to come, but can you, can you tell us a favorite memory that you've had so far in, in basketball here at Weber State? Oh, a favorite memory. Um, I just say it's a lot to pick from. <laughs> um, I just say last year, just um, just like the culture change was was fun. That made it really fun. Um, just playing with Emily Drake, Jamani Welch Coleman, although they are gone, that was just a great experience. Um, I'd say just playing with the just last year, just playing with the group of girls, that was just a good overall good experience. Great, Jarek. What about you? Um, I think back to the Utah State game my freshman year. Um, I started the year off like. 0 for 14 from the three-point line. <laughs> and in that game, I think I went like three or four from the three-point line. Uh, we ended up beating Utah State, which we we didn't beat them for like, I don't know how many years. Yeah, so that was a that was a big moment for me, honestly. You, you've got to love, and Coach Ray alluded to, you love those atmospheres where you go, especially on the road, you go to those places that are some tough environments to play in, but those are probably what you what you look forward to. Yeah, for sure. We love quieting other people's crowds. It's, it's, it's pretty fun. <laughs> I, I want to ask both of you players about your pregame routines. Do you have a routine that you do, something specific that may be unique to you, uh, or do you have kind of the same routine every pregame? Um, yeah, I have the same routine. Um, I'm big about routines. Um, okay, so take us through that. What do you do? What is day of, a, <laughs> yeah. day of a game, what do you do? Day of a game. Um, let's see. Well, I need that small nap before. Not too long, just 30 minutes. Like, can't go over it, can't go under. It's got to be 30 minutes. <laughs> Let's see, I listen to, I love Beyonce, so I always put on a little bit of Beyonce, get the blood flowing, <laughs> be ready to play. Uh, but other than that, I just like to get out here and just get some shots up by myself, just kind of vibing, just thinking about the game, thinking about what I need to do. That's pretty much my. Okay. All right, Jarek, your pregame routine. Um, so we'll have like walk through, then we'll have a team meal. And after that, um, I'll go home, take a shower, just lay down for a little bit, watch highlights, probably a basketball, and then, um, Game gets closer. I'll do some push-ups. Like before every game, I do push-ups. I don't. I don't know. Really? I've been doing it since high school. Yeah. How so, many? I don't usually? know. Usually like maybe 200, something like that, just to get the blood flowing. And then, I would, well, while I'm doing that, I listen to music. So, and then I listen to music on the way to the game. So, yeah. You listen to Beyonce too? Mm, I mean, maybe <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so let's let's keep this going then. Coaches, do you have kind of a pregame routine that you do? Um, no, I just, you know, I, I don't sleep much the night before because I'm thinking about preparation and, and wondering are we ready, hoping we're ready, feeling like we're ready. Um, I'm, I'm, music is my, is my life. That would be my, my next career. So music is always on when I'm just getting ready for the game, you know, and uh, I think that's probably it, just game prep and some music. Coach? Not really. I mean, uh, no, you, you know, you, 
I don't sleep very well. You know, some guys like to take a nap. I, I don't do very well at that. But uh, same thing, you know, you run through all the scenarios, you know, other things that, uh, that might come up and make sure you're prepared mentally for whatever might come up. But uh, I'm not a music person. Um, so try to get a nap in. Uh, usually that doesn't work. So pop up. Let's get going. Can't wait to get to the office and get going. So there you go. Nothing crazy. Uh, this is the Big Sky Media Day here for Weber State uh, as we talk, talk with Dominique Williams and Jared Cardi and Valeta Harris and Randy Ray. Uh, just a few more minutes as we're going to talk about that. And you alluded to this. Okay, so if you were not coaching basketball, mm -hmm. what do you think mm -hmm. you'd be doing? I, I listen, you asked me that last yeah. year, and I told you I'd be a backup singer. That's what it sounds like, I music, would, I right? Would. I'd be yeah. a doo wop guy. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you know, we got to get our notes. Yeah. We practice okay. this. I'm not ready. I'm yeah. not warmed up. <laughs> so, <laughs> as a team, when you're traveling and doing things, you guys sing a lot together? Or do you do there's, stuff? Yes, there's yeah. a lot of music. There's some <laughs> I dance. bet there is. There's some dancing. Yes. We can dance, Nick. We, yeah, yeah, we, we can, can get Who's the best yeah, dancer on the team? On the team. Listen, I'm going to leave that one. I don't see our freshman Monka. Really? She can dance, okay. yeah. As a, as a coach, I'm me. Like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. actually. Yeah, you first. Right? Then Monk. <laughs> yeah. So did you grow up singing your your whole life? Have you... uh, no, just music is in my family's yeah. makeup, and that's what my husband does freshly, so it's just, that's just us. That's what you do. That's yeah. just us. Okay, good. We got some songs for Randy. We got them. Okay, so so if you, were, if you weren't coaching, what would you be doing, do you think? Oh, that's easy. I would be a fly fisherman guide. That would be my deal. So if I could fly fish every day, other than coach basketball, that would be my next deal. I'd love to get out in the stream and by myself and catch some fish. And, uh, and did you get I'm a chance not great to do that this it. summer? No, 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 I did not. Busy summer. Um, but uh, every once in a while, you can still sneak out, maybe on a Sunday night or something. But uh, I could do that 24 7 if I wasn't coaching. There you go. Interesting. Okay, how about you players? Now, obviously, we want you to play basketball, but outside of basketball, uh, what other sports you played in high school or maybe some other interests that you, that you have? Jarek, did you play other sports in high school? I actually didn't. Um, I practiced on the football team for about a week, and then, and then I quit because <laughs> we had a fall league coming up in high school, so I was like, why well, risk it? Like, so. Good move. <laughs> that was a good move. How about you, Dominique? No, just just basketball. Just basketball. Yes. <laughs> what do you What do you see yourselves uh, doing here? Uh, well, first of all, tell us your major, and then maybe some things that you're looking forward to after your basketball career here at Weber State. Uh, so my major is supply chain management. Um, looking forward to. Hopefully, can continue playing basketball. That would be ideal. That would be lovely, actually. Um, but other than that, just maybe just trying to find a company that fits me. Very good. Jarek? Um, so my major is professional sales and psychology. Um, after basketball, I want to eventually have my own clothing brand or yeah, maybe something like that. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I like it. That's good. Uh, Coach Ray, we were talking before we started a little bit about a, a job you did. And your major was el elementary education. You said you were a fifth grade teacher for a while. I was. I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah. No. Yeah, so try to keep that hidden. Um, <laughs> Yeah, fifth grade for two years. I did it long enough to know that I didn't want to teach fifth grade anymore. Okay. I wanted to coach. But, uh, but no, actually, it was two years straight out of college, small little town in Colorado, and uh, actually had a lot of fun. I was just telling Jarek, we had a lot of recess time. <laughs> we'd go out and play hoops. We'd go play flag football. I'm not sure how much they learned, but uh, they learned how to run some sets offensively, I guess, <laughs> basketball. Coach Harris, have you had any careers like that, that outside of basketball, maybe? Mine was also an education. Really? Yeah, okay. so counselor, um, uh, athletic director, just, you know, English was my major, so a lot of that. As we wrap up, just uh, just the last minute or so, I'm going to ask you, again, the, maybe the biggest keys to your team or, or the keys that you see that you guys need to work on to, to have a successful season. Well, I think the keys are, one, how can we defend? How will we defend? Um, I think we're going to stay competitive and just can our youngins really um, feed off of our, our returners. That's the biggest deal and just what our attitude is going in. We have to be confident about what it is that we're doing. And I'm trying to breathe that into my team. And I think if we, if we continue to work as hard as we've been doing all summer and all spring, I think uh, we're going to surprise quite a few people. I'm excited about that. Coach Ray, you, keys, keys for your team this year. It's pretty much the same every year for us, you know, how hard we're going to play, uh, how tough we're going to be, and how together we're going to be. Those three things, if they're there, then uh, I like what we're going to be uh, all about. And then we've got to establish a defensive mindset and a rebounding mindset. Uh, when those two things are our strength and uh, we can play that at a high level, then we've got a chance to be successful. 
Well, thank you. We are so looking forward to the basketball season's beginning. Dominique, thank you. Jarek, thank you. And Coach Harris and Coach Ray, thanks for joining us as well. Basketball season begins for the women on November 5th and for the men on November 8th. Make sure you follow us at WeberStateSports.com as well. Thanks for joining us. Go Wildcats.